Welcome back to Adventures Made From Scratch. Silas here. It is brutal cold today. The wind is coming out of the north really strong. We're supposed to get a bunch of snow and some ice tonight, and it's supposed to be about negative one degrees, I think, something like that. So it's gonna be pretty chilly. It's pretty windy. As soon as I walk around this corner over here where the fence isn't blocking it, it's gonna just my mic out so I won't be able to talk once I get over there. It's hard to believe I was out here working in just a shirt yesterday. Well, I had pants on too, so don't worry. But I mean, I didn't have all this coat and overalls and everything else on. But anyway, the agenda is, is I'm going to process some cars. I'll probably crush a few cars. Uh, I got a couple vehicles in that might have something in them. Maybe I can find some loose change, maybe something cool. I did get one vehicle in the other day that I know has something cool in it. It's a big item. I'll show it to you in a second. But uh, beyond that, I don't know what else to say. So let's get busy. This just came in for scrap, and at first I thought it was just a Ford flathead until I looked at it and I said, that's a little bit different. It's got double water pumps on it and it just looks big. The carburetor's big. So I got to looking at it and this is actually a 337 Lincoln engine. I think they made these from 49 to 51, something like that, and they put them in a few Lincolns and they also put them in some of your big trucks trucks like your F7s and things like that. I don't know if it's a very valuable engine. I do know it's a pretty rare engine. They're kind of hard to find. It is stuck, but it does have oil in it and it did have antifreeze when he pulled it. So I'm thinking it's probably just stuck in the cylinders. I don't really have time to mess with this. So my buddy, Sean, that helps me out a lot, I'm just gonna give him this and for helping me out a lot and he can do something with it. But we're definitely not gonna crush that. The rest of this thing is just junk. Everybody always gives me a hard time for crushing these rust-free Chevy trucks and stuff, but you know, they're almost all rust-free. They never rust here and nobody wants to come down from up north and buy anything, so the way she's gonna go. So Sean may or may not be here later. I forgot to bring my chain, so I can't really get that out until he gets here. If at all possible, I want to get the road open all the way to the other gate again. I don't know if we'll get it done or not, but uh, you can kind of see that little gold truck there. It's not gold, it's full size, but it's been smashed. Uh, that one there, see if I can zoom in. That was a rollover. The lady loaned it to her daughter. She lost control on the ice, and the lady had just canceled her full coverage and put liability on it right before that. And so, uh, unfortunately, she, I mean, it's, it's totaled hard. So she went ahead and just sold it for scrap to get a little bit of money out of it. Same thing with that burnt Honda beside it. But anyway, we'll kind of look through those cars here in a little bit. There may or may not be anything good in those. I haven't looked in them yet. And then beyond that, I'd kind of like to get this area cleaned up a little bit. Uh, that 350 motor there, I've had that forever. Nobody's really interested in it. It's been rained in several times now. So I'm gonna go ahead and junk it. And then I just want to rearrange all this stuff here. Go ahead and crush the cars that are back there and kind of open this up a little bit. Unstruck gold, folks. Look at that right there. Ripped open that trunk. I don't know what it was in. They must have just been laying in here in a pile or something. Just laying all here. I don't know what there is. There's looks like maybe three dollars there, maybe a little more. I don't know. There's three dollars and twenty-seven cents there. So that's not bad at all. Usually in trunks, there's never change hardly, but every now and then you'll find a couple of pennies. But that's actually quite a bit. What's really weird is I just got kind of done scouring through the inside of this car a little bit, and there's nothing inside it. So. There must have just been something in that trunk that had a little bit of money in it that fell out. Well, it is now lunchtime. I didn't get anything crushed. I had so many people coming out this morning bringing junk out, bringing converters out. Uh, my phone was just ringing off the hook. I got a million phone calls today from people wanting this and wanting that. Most of it I didn't have. But that's okay. I got some cars processed. Made a little bit of progress on my uh, goal of cleaning out the road. What I'm going to do now is go get something to eat. After I get something to eat, I'm probably going to go out to my place. I've got to load one more dumpster load of junk. Then after that, I've got to dig out a car. And then after that, I'll probably come back out here if there's still time in the day and finish crushing. So I'm out here at my place now so I can load that dumpster. And they're actually here cutting down some trees right now. Uh, he's cutting down this one over here in front of me. He's getting it done. That was the one that was around the corner of this building, that real ugly, nasty looking one. If you look back at some of my older videos. And he's going to go ahead and take this one over here out because it's over the top of the building. I'm going to take this one out once I get the excavator going because it's not going to fall on anything and hurt anything. But that one over there is over the building. And then this one over here, I'm going to go ahead and have him take that one out as well because I'm scared that if I take it out, it'll fall over and crush my fence. 
So he's going to go ahead and take both of those out, and it looks like he's just about done with that one. That was a pretty good sized tree. I'm assuming he's probably going to keep all of that and sell it for firewood, because that was that's good firewood. I've got plenty of it out back, or else I'd keep it. Well, my plans keep changing. Uh, I got a phone call, and a guy that was supposed to be here this morning, he was supposed to bring a car out, and he never showed up. And so I'm out there eating my lunch, and I get a phone call, and he said, oh, I just dumped that car because you weren't there. So now I have a car dumped in the road. So I had to run back over here. I got to get that moved in so it's not sitting out in the street. And then I got to go back out there again and load that dumpster. The good news is, is that this is an impound car. So maybe we can find some more money or something good in it. This door pocket here was clear full of envelopes. And obviously I can't show what's in the envelopes because it has all of her personal information on them. But those were her tips envelopes to where they would split up the tip at the end of the day at whatever uh, restaurant she worked at. Unfortunately, they're all empty. Nothing good in them. So... We'll see if there's anything else good in here. Oh, we got some goodies in here, it looks like. What do we got here? A little uh, tire pressure checker. Air gauge. Looks like a couple pennies in there. And maybe a couple more pennies down Yeah, a couple pennies there. Glove box is open and nothing in it. So they already cleaned that out. Probably had more personal information they took out of it. Let's check out these little door pockets. Just receipts, it looks like. I never seen little compartments like that. Man, this car's got all sorts of little storage places to hoard stuff. Does this side have one? Yeah. Clear full of receipts as well. Huh. I found all the deposit slips of where they put the money out of those envelopes in the bank, and as of a couple days ago, they had just over $2,000 in the bank. It's amazing what people leave behind in these cars. It's a good thing I'm an honest person because, I mean, there's all sorts. I've got their social security number, I've got their address, I know where they bank. One time we got a car and it had all of his tax records and receipts and everything for his entire family going back like 10 years. So I could have assumed his identity if I wanted to. Now obviously I don't do that and what I do is I just leave the stuff in the cars. When I crush these cars, nobody will ever get it out. And then these things are dropped through a shredder and anything like that just gets burned up. Check under here. Oh, well, we got a penny. Anything else? Can't see. This thing doesn't want to give up the ghost. Nope, nothing else. They keep this car pretty clean. I guess I'll we'll have to lay upside down and check under the seat real quick. Well, I found one lonely penny underneath the passenger seat, so I added it to my collection. What are we up to now? Six cents, so not doing very good. We'll check out the center console real quick. Oh my. Oh my. What do we got here? I can't tell. Are any of these real? I don't see any markings on that one. That one's definitely not real. I can tell that's just copper or something. And we got this one here. It looks like it might be something. I know my fingernails are all dirty. I forgot my gloves earlier and I was taking some tires off, so now they're all grody. Nope, I don't see anything on that one. And last but not least, let's see if there's any writing on this one. Hope we got something on there. What does that say? Oh, of course I don't have my glasses on. It looks like silver something 25 is that 925 i can't quite read that should have worn my glasses okay well i was excited at first and it's still pretty exciting it's not every day i find jewelry in the cars but i got three bracelets that definitely aren't anything and then that last one the one on the left there may or may not be something good so i don't know i'll have to take it home and check it out better once i get my glasses and what else do we have in here looks like one two three four five cents yeah it looks about five cents okay actually there was only two cents because the other three cents are glued down because of melted candy. So we're just going to leave those in there. It's not worth the effort. Let's see if there's anything here. I can see it looks like a quarter down there on the floor. Nothing in there. And it looks like a quarter and a penny down in the bottom of this. Looks like they just vacuumed the carpets in this thing. Nothing under that one. Nothing there. So yeah, not a whole lot in here. Well, I struck out. I thought it was a quarter, but it was actually just a nickel. But not bad so far. I guess we'll pop the trunk real quick, see if there's anything in there, and then we'll get the loader out and move this in. Yeah, it looks like they pretty well cleaned this out. Don't really see anything good. Yeah, there's nothing good in there. We're not gonna mess with that. And in fact, I don't need the keys. So we'll throw those right there. We'll lock, oh. There's a JBL speaker. I'll have to pull that out of there. I don't have a use for it, but the uh, guy that comes out and helps me every now and then, Lep, he really likes speakers and stuff like that. So uh, 
I'll save that for him. I don't know if there's anything else in here or not. I don't see anything else, but yeah, I'll save that at least. Now I got it out of there. It actually wasn't even screwed in. They had just put it in there. Hadn't even installed it all the way. So uh, yeah, I'll give that to him. Is this not one of the best looking cars ever made? I'm kidding, of course. These things are hideous. I mean, they're unique, that's for sure, but uh, unique isn't always <laughs> the same as good looking. This funky little rear moonroof sunroof thing is kind of neat, though. It's kind of interesting in itself. Both of these cars were ones that people took to a mechanic and they needed more work than what they were worth. There may or may not be anything good left in these. Probably not, because these aren't quite like impound cars. Hey, we got some razors, in case I decide to shave out here. Got some napkins, and we got a Polaroid photo of, I can't tell what that is. Looks like snow and chain link. I can't really tell. And a little bowl, so uh, nothing good in there. No luck there, but I do see something good here I can save. I'm always needing those. When you're constantly plugging and unplugging these, and moving them to different vehicles, they wear out pretty fast. So I save them whenever I find them. Check the glove box. Some more napkins. Check under the floor mats. If I can get it to come up, there we go. Nothing there, what's this, another one? Oh, that's one of those ones you can plug your phone into. Don't need that. I guess we can check under the seats. Uh, it just looks like trash under there. Let's see what we got down here. Looks like we got some lotion. Yeah, some, uh, oh, that's a peel off clay mask. Yeah, I, I don't need that. My face is ugly enough, I don't need a mask. But I did see something in here, is it a receipt? Nope, that's money. Looks like a couple, couple dollars. What do we got here, we got one, we got a 10. Hey, we got $12, oh my. Is there anything else up in there? I don't see anything else. No, there's nothing else in there. Well, that's a good deal, 12 bucks. That makes me want to dig in this car a little bit better. I didn't expect to find anything. I mean, it's just mainly trash. And then this, and then that cord right there, but maybe there's some better stuff in here. I know sometimes stuff falls behind these glove boxes, so uh, I'll pop that down. It's gonna take both hands to do it, though. What do we got back here? We got some sort of towel, and that looks like about it. So nothing else good in there. So I don't know. Well, I might need to move the loader. He's driving through. Is he gonna fit? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, got him taken care of. But I don't see anything else in here. These seats here don't really fold up. They just kind of kind of fold down. So I can't really check under the seats on this. Or I don't know exactly how it works. Maybe this is something. No, that's nothing. So I don't see anything else good in this one. So I guess we'll check the uh, Sebring. Let's see here. Might as well start right here. Nothing there. Let's see if there's anything good. I'm not really seeing much. I think we're kind of striking out on this one. A bicycle seat. But uh, yeah, I'll pull these floor mats up real quick. But uh, other than that, I don't really see anything. Nothing behind the seat there. This seat doesn't even have one. So yeah, I don't think we're gonna have to find anything in this. I'll uh, get the keys and check the trunk too. Now this car is too new. It doesn't have a place to put a key. So if the battery's dead, you don't get to get in the trunk. So, I guess we don't know what's in the trunk on this one, but just judging by the rest of the car, there's probably nothing in there anyway. Uh, when I process this car and get it ready to crush, I'll rip the trunk open and see at that point. Speaking of which, at some point, I don't know when, but at some point, hopefully like late spring, maybe early summer, 
sometime around then we're gonna bring the crusher in here now honestly when we bring the crusher in we'll probably put it over there somewhere because the other pile of cars that I have that's over by the fence line is a little bit bigger than this pile of cars or quite a bit bigger probably twice as many cars but uh, these are all ready to crush except for the aluminum wheels so I've pulled all the converters pulled all the batteries and so there's quite a few cars out here I forget how many hundred I have ready to crush but I'd like to come in here and crush them all out a few of these cars still have converters like this one here but they're on the manifold so I got to pull the motor on it and same thing with that Honda up on top like that but there's a bunch of late model cars through here I'm gonna come through here and crush all of these that Ford truck there's a bunch of trucks right here just an assortment of stuff all through here most of these cars I may hang on to this little GT I don't know the drive lines the only reason I saved that we have some of these cars like that neon and all these Durangos and Dakotas back here they were all on the property when we got the property my dad bought those right before I bought this property so they're all his but I'd like to get in here and get all of these crushed out clean this whole area out and then I have lots more room for more cars I can come in here and kind of trim these trees up a little bit get some of these big half dead branches cut out of here knock down chop them up for firewood I know there's elm trees a lot of them but they'll still burn good enough in the junkyard cabin come through here clean all of this stuff out all of these are just crushers here I might hang on to that little tracker over there then I got all these cars back here so I got quite a few cars in here like I say most of the converters are gone just a few of them like this little Taurus right here still has the manifold cats there's a few like that but it shouldn't take me too long to come in here and crush all these I think probably if I just get right on it probably about two weeks time I should have everything crushed then what the plan is is this area where all these are stacked this is probably where I'll start stacking all of my frames off the big trucks that I pull the cabs and the front clips and the motors and stuff like that off of all my farm trucks I can stack the chassis in this area right here so they're a little bit more accessible when I'm ready to ship them and then all this area out here I can uh, put old cars in so I'm just walking along I was gonna show you guys some more stuff and I found this laying on the ground an old Essex hubcap just laying here now what happened is probably when I was processing these cars I kind of stirred the ground up a little bit and this is probably covered in sand and it kind of got shoved over here and then it rained and washed it off but uh there's tons of this sort of stuff actually I did a metal detecting video out here and it was right around this area somewhere I found that old swastika coin it was somewhere right around here then I found a REO horn button out back and I think I found a brass hubcap off of something if I remember right but that's cool I guess we'll put that in the junkyard treasure but anyway whenever I do start crushing cars I think what I'll do is I'll just live load the cars out of here and I can back the semis in right here and if I kind of clean this corner up a little bit I can just load them right in this area and they don't have to go all the way into the yard I've got all these cars this is the big pile of cars here they're all ready to go a lot of these don't even have wheels on them when I started down here at this end I was pulling the wheels off and everything so those over here are completely ready and then as you go further this way I started leaving the wheels on them just because I felt like nobody's gonna steal the wheels so I just mainly wanted to get converters off you know got a little bit of scrap laying here on the ground not a whole lot yeah I'll come in here get rid of all these then what I'll probably do is take a bunch of those uh, truck beds that I have those flat beds off these old farm trucks and I can flip them up on their side put some posts in the ground and I can make me a fence along the side over here and kind of block the view there's a fence over there but it's a wire fence and so you can see all these cars from the road when you drive by but anyway I'll probably hang on to these couple old Fords here uh, maybe not this one I'll think about this one this one may get crushed but that one over there I'll save I come in here junk all these tractors and get rid of these campers these campers I'm gonna have to pack those in the dumpsters and send those to the landfill but that'll clean out a pretty big area over there crush that kind of clean this up get rid of that trailer house if I clean this area up I think I'll probably move all of this stuff out of here and I'll probably put the crusher somewhere in this general area right here that way we can drive in and just kind of pull it up in here and set it and then I can just kind of use my camper area over here my cabin area as a staging area I think it'll work pretty good that's the game plan anyway we'll see if it happens but I think I'm gonna make it happen just because I want to make some room out here a lot of these vehicles over here probably hang on to the international for now but like this Chevy here probably uh, just go ahead and pop the cab and the motor off of that the bed that won't take long both of these and actually probably this Ford too because we already cut the noses off get those out of here kind of come back in here rearrange these a little bit I'd love to find a home for this one here always kept in a barn no rust a few dents but not too bad 
I'd love to find a home for that thing, but it's just kind of an ugly body style. It hasn't really caught on yet, so maybe someday. And once again, I think if I had the cabin front clip off of this truck, ready to go, sitting there to where somebody could just drive in, load it on their trailer, I think it would sell easier than what it is sitting on this big, ugly farm truck. Then I've got a couple more back here that I just go ahead and pop the cabs off of. Clean this whole area up, and boy, I'd be pretty excited. And I got this whole big open field back here. I could get a lot of vehicles back here. I could probably line up a lot of farm trucks back here as they come in, things like that. But like I say, that's gonna be a, a spring or maybe even summer project, like late spring, early summer project, just because I got so much going on right now, there's just no way I can do it. This month, I gotta cut a ton of noses off of these old cars and trucks. I got a big order for those. Then I got a bunch of stuff going on next month, and so <laughs> it's just gonna be crazy. And then of course in April, that's mushroom season, so that's like my number one priority in that month is I gotta go mushroom hunting. Mushroom hunting doesn't really make any money. I mean, I can make a few videos about it, but what's that gonna be, 50 bucks? And then that Caprice right there, we bought that car, and the lady said she had somebody interested in it, but he had moved and she hadn't heard from him in a long time, didn't know his name, didn't know his number, and so we are like, oh, okay, well, we'll just go ahead and buy it and we bought it. Well then come to find out, the guy messaged me today and it's a guy I know, and he says, I already paid her for that car. I gave her 60 bucks for that car several months ago. And I said, oh, well, I guess that changes things. And I said, look, I know you, I don't wanna cause problems and I don't wanna argue and fight over it. And you've always been, been good with us. So I guess you can just go ahead and come get the car. We only gave 50 bucks for it, so it's whatever. So I set it out. He's supposed to come get it tonight sometime. He's got a rollback. He can get it whenever. But with that, I think we are done for today's video. This is kind of a fun one. I guess it kind of turned into a junkyard treasure hunt. I didn't think that's what it was going to be when it started. Didn't get anything crushed, but uh, we can always do some crushing later. It's supposed to snow tonight and be bitter cold tomorrow, so I'm not going to record anything tomorrow. But Friday, I got quite a bit going on, so I'll be sure to get the camera back out then. So with that being said, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And remember to get out there, find an adventure. We'll see you next time.